A messenger has just informed us that the Chosen is headed in the direction of Lewin. Aww, Dex is in charge of that area. That's no fun. Guess that means we should just concentrate on the Centurion's course. Ma'am, you should also know that it appears Lady Marta is headed in this direction. Oh, Mart Mart's coming? <laughs> then I'll leave the Centurion's course to you, Hockey. I'll go and set up a nice ambush for our sweet little Mart Mart when she gets to Palma Costa. Marta, did you just hear that? There's no choice. We'll go to Palma Costa and just do our best to steer clear of Alice. Okay. Marta. What just happened? Uh, I don't know. I had a weird vision all of a sudden. Maybe it was a dream. A dream? While you were wide awake and walking around? You want to rest a bit? No, I'm fine. Let's go. Are you sure? His color seems to be mostly back. It's probably safe to keep going. See? Tenebrae thinks I'm fine too. Hmm. All right then. But tell us if you aren't feeling well again. Costa. Yeah. It's been six months. It's the same for you, right? About that, yeah. I'll bet you're looking forward to seeing your old friends again. My old friends? Emil, what's wrong? What? Oh, nothing. Six months. Let's not get sentimental. We need to find out if Lloyd's come through here first, right? Yeah, you're right. We both know the town, so let's split up. We can meet at the pub. But watch out for Alice. Oh, right. Tenebrae, can you keep an eye on Emil? That's not what I meant. 
No, it's okay. See you later. Well then, shall we get started? Are you sure? Marta is the one with Ratatosk's core. And I'm supposed to be protecting her, not the other way around. I'm able to easily sense where Lady Marta is at any time because she has the core. Frankly, I'm more concerned about you. I'm so pathetic. I need to try harder. Do I really scare that easily? <laughs> I'd say so. There's that spiteful side again. Emil, is that you? Richter, what are you doing here? I should ask you the same question. What brings you to Paul Macosta? I'm on a journey. I'm looking for Lloyd in the Centurion's course. Anyway, are you okay? You were injured pretty badly. There's still some pain, but I only have myself to blame. The fact that I lost to such a fool pains me more. Oh, I'm sorry. It was a joke. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't I tell you to stop apologizing without reasons? Oh, I'm s I mean, um, yes, you did. Oh, Richter, there you are! Richter, are you looking for Mart Mart too? Hey! You're Mart Mart's pet! Alice, he's an acquaintance of mine. You're on his side? You know, if you just let me play with him a little, I'm sure he'd be more than happy to tell us where Mart Mart is. I said he's my acquaintance. If you don't understand what that means... Ooh, so scary! Fine, but all bets are off if I catch the little pet with Mart Mart. And since you're here, that means Mart Mart is here too! <laughs> I'm so lucky!
Victor, you're a member of the Vanguard too? I am. What are you planning to do with Ratatosk's core? Revive the Silverant Dynasty. Well, that's what they say. The Silverant Dynasty? But I learned in school that it fell 800 years ago. You need to forget about Ratatosk's core, the Centurion's cores, about all of this. Why? The Vanguard isn't just looking for Ratatosk's core. They're looking for the Centurion's cores as well. I don't want to involve you in all of this. Uh. Hmm. At least you no longer agree with everything I say. But I won't give up either. I will take Ratatosk's core from Marta, even if it means her death. I need to tell Marta about the sadist. Emil, her name is Alice. Does it matter? Anyway, where's Marta? It seems she's in the pub. Got it. Richter is a member of the Vanguard. Did you know Tenebrae? Yes. Uh, I just don't know what to think. If he's with the Vanguard, then he and Marta started out on the same side. But despite that, he's trying to kill her in order to take Ratatosk's core. As Lady Marta mentioned, the Vanguard has changed. They are only concerned with gathering Ratatosk and Centurion's cores for their objective. They are our enemies. It is as simple as that. But Richter keeps helping me out. I mean, he can be sort of gruff, even scary sometimes. But besides Ratatosk's core, everything he's said to me so far makes sense. Emil, this is the man who was trying to kill Lady Marta. <laughs> Marta is. Wait a moment. I will try to sense the presence of the core lodged on her forehead. Mm. How's it coming? Te, uh? te, tene, 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 tene. What? It would appear she is in the pub. Oh, yeah. Yes. Did you find anything? I had no luck at all. Seems like Lloyd hasn't come through here. Forget about that. I just ran into the sadist. I mean Alice and Richter. And I found out Richter is a member of the Vanguard as well. I'm sorry. You seem to trust Richter so much. I just couldn't bring myself to tell you. Thanks for considering my feelings. Not at all. I should have told you. I'm sorry. It's fine. Right now we need to head to Asalia before Alice finds us. Okay, let's go to the harbor. You kids are heading to the harbor? Yes. I don't reckon you'll be going anywhere by boat. The seas have been angry for weeks. What? There isn't any service? Well, let me think. If you really have to go, you might try asking Mrs. Dorr in the Governor General's office. Mrs. Dorr? Is something wrong? No, it's nothing. Let's go to the Governor General's office. Right. <sighs> Marta, what is it? 
Not really looking forward to meeting the widow of the Governor General. Why not? It's just that I've caused so much trouble for her. You have? Yes. If the Vanguard hadn't started meeting here, the Blood Purge might never have happened. The Vanguard might be the ones who lit the spark. But it was Lloyd and the Church of Martell who fanned the flames into a raging inferno. Don't beat yourself up over it. Um, Emil, my... my father was... What happened to your father? Wait, did Lloyd do something to him? Uh, I'm sorry. Forget I said anything, okay? Let's get going to the governor's office. Right. Oh, you're Marta Lualde, aren't you? It's been a long time, Mrs. Governor General. Yes, since the Blood Purge. I'm sorry for all the trouble with my father back then. You have nothing to apologize for. But tell me, what's brought you here today? I'd like to take a ship out of the harbor. Emil and I are trying to get to Azuld. Emil... Oh, right. Emil was born here as well. Do you know him? Emil... Emil Castagne, is it? Razel's son. Yes, that's right. Is something the matter? Oh my. They say eyesight is the first thing to go. I hardly recognized you. I'm sorry, Emil. Not at all. Maybe I'm just easy to forget. Regarding the ship, there's nothing I can do with the ocean in its current condition, but... Is there some other way? Yes. Emil, perhaps you remember Thomas, the fisherman who lived next to you. Thomas, the fisherman. He told me he'd figured out the source of the storms. He set out for the dynasty ruins up in the Kamisra Mountains, but no one's heard from him since. Perhaps if you found Thomas... So basically we should go to the Kamisra Mountains to look for Thomas? Oh no, the Kamisra Mountains are far too dangerous. We're sending out a search party to look for him. What should we do? If we stay here, it's just a matter of time before Alice finds us. Wait, you wanna go? Don't you? I'll go. I just don't like scary places. Sorry, Emil. So we'll go and look for Thomas. I can see you made up your mind. I won't try and talk you out of it, but please do be careful. So you're protecting her? Thanks, Emil. Thank you so much. I... I made a pact. A pact to borrow Ratatosk's power, so I would be able to protect Marta. So... so I'm not gonna let anyone hurt Marta ever again. Not even you! You actually made a pact with Ratatosk? You fool! Yes, but why not? Sorry about that. It looks like my hand just slipped there a bit. You're not hurt, are you? Wait a minute, aren't you? Well, hello. I don't know who you are, and normally I could care less about some guy knowing who I am. But, one thing's for certain. You need to learn the proper way to treat a true lady. Or perhaps you want to go up against me and that kid. Doubt you'll get far with that battered body. No thanks. I think I'll pass. You two are not my concern. Emil. Alice is plotting something. Be careful.
Thank you so much for helping me just now. What... what was your name? I'm the great Zelos Wilder, but you can call me Zelos. I'd love to take you out tonight, but I have an appointment at the Governor General's office. Until next time, ciao, princess. So, that was Zelos Wilder? Zelos Wilder? How do you know him? A man with red hair. He might be the Chosen of Tetha'ala and one of Lloyd's companions. What? That's what I thought at first. But there's no way the Chosen would act like that. Yeah. That guy couldn't be more different from Colette if he tried. I know. Let's head to the Dynasty Ruins in the Kamisra Mountains, okay? So, just where are the Kamisra Mountains? What? You mean you didn't learn that in school? Huh? Anyone from Palma Costa should know where they are. Um, I... Perhaps he wasn't paying attention in geography class. Emil is a bit of a dreamer, after all. I see. That's okay, Emil. You could be as bright as a star or dumb as a post. It still wouldn't matter to me. But that's sort of like saying it's okay that I'm an idiot. Oh. <laughs> I suppose it is. So the Kamisra Mountains, they're just south of town. Now let's get going. Okay. So, Colette is not the only one who bears the title of Chosen. Nope, both Silverunt and Tetha'ala each have their own Chosen, but only Colette is called the Chosen of Regeneration. I wonder what sort of person the Chosen from Tetha'ala is. From what I've heard, he's good looking and has red hair. The guy we just met could have fit that description if he hadn't opened his mouth. I don't know. As far as redheads go, I'd say Richter is about a hundred times cooler. Emil, Richter is our enemy. Oh, I mean... Yeah, I know, but... And anyway, you're a thousand times cooler than Richter. Um, thanks. Love is truly as blind as they say. Here, Emil. Try my homemade cooking. What? You want me to eat this? You're so mean. I poured my heart into this. Oh, I'm sorry. It might not look like much, but it tastes great. Try it. Okay. Here goes. Well, Daddy always said he loved my cooking. <sighs> Emil? He appears to have fainted. What is it? You kids want to see old Colton's collection too? Your collection? You don't? Then get out! What a shame. That young lass is quite the looker. Could have passed the time showing her a thing or two until Richter got back. Richter's coming here? You know that scoundrel? Scoundrel? Sounds like Richter, all right. Marta. When are you expecting him? Should be here any minute now. Actually, he's late. He must be having a hell of a time finding that Tower of Mana Mirror. What's that? Out of my face, boy. I have nothing to tell you. You can tell me. So this Richter fella comes in and tells me to hand over this spiritual tome I worked so hard to get. I told him I'll trade it for the mirror and the Balakruff tombstone. 
the spiritual tome. What's that? I've never heard of it. A book that wouldn't mean a damn to a couple of ignorant punks like you two. I've had enough of you, so now get out! the vanguard. Hide! No luck getting a Crucius Crystal from one of the Chosen? I've sent Hockey out to get one, but it seems Zelos won't give him a chance to swipe it. As for little Coletti, she's got some kind of crazy luck. We haven't been able to get the jump on her. <sighs> They're all useless. So what are you gonna use the Chosen's Crucius Crystal for? Isn't it just a symbol to prove a Chosen was selected by the Crucius Angels? Even if I told you, I doubt you'd understand. Well, that's insulting. Oh well, I forgive you. You and I are comrades in more ways than one, after all. You don't curse that fact? Not at all. It's my policy to make use of anything I can. I'd expect you to be the one cursing. Humans, that is, not yourself. Oh, temper, temper. Looks like I hit a nerve. Richter, wait! I wonder if they're going after Colette. Most likely. But if what Alice said is true, it sounds like she's holding her own. <laughs> 